Hey everybody, my is Jay. Today, giving you lowdown on Subnautica, what's happening with the next game in the series. Long often, we've had rumours, or we've got a bit more confirmation towards the end of last year that it was indeed happening. And of course, we know for a while now, I told you guys first, exclusively, that the game would be multiplayer focused, as this was confirmed by one of the lead game founders in my comment section. But since then, we didn't really get enough info, or the info we were getting was from Craft and their publishers, which hinted at maybe live service and big multiplayer focus. Well, it looks like Subnautica devs have actually clarified exactly what that means after IGN maybe made a bit of a baity post, but actually took some flack that probably wasn't deserved. Anyway, let's go through it all and enjoy. Look at this, this first picture of Subnautica 2. An update about the next Subnautica. A few of you have noticed some information shared online by a publisher, Crafton. While some of the news is exciting, we like to clarify. Early access is not intended for release in 2024, but we plan to share a lot of information later this year. In reference to games as a service, we simply plan to continually update the game for many years to come, just like the previous two Subnautica games. Think our early access update model expanded. No season passes, no battle passes, no subscription. The game is not multiplayer focused. Co-op will be an entirely optional way to play the game. You'll be able to enjoy the game as a single player. As always, we are so proud and incredibly grateful to have such a passionate, engaged community who love the Subnautica games deeply. Thanks for keeping an eye out on the news about our progress on the next game. We're excited to show you what we've been working on and hope that you love it as much as we do, the Subnautica team. So this was pretty much in response to a big IGN article. Effectively, this was tweeted out and the headline was that Subnautica 2 was going to be a live service game, etc. And to be honest, IGN haven't actually done anything wrong here. There's a lot of flack from so-called gaming celebs. I've no idea who these people are. But they gained a lot of traction with their likes, basically crapping on the journalists that writ this article, or this headline at least. But that's exactly what Crafton had put in their reports. Don't get me wrong, I'm no stan of IGN. It's been a long, long time since I regularly checked in with them. The amount of hate and jumping on the uh, IGN are crap reporters bandwagon seems a bit unfair because literally the people that actually publish Subnautica are the ones that said it would be more of a service. Games as a service model with enhanced replayability. There have been a number of financial reports and info shared by Crafton that really did hint at the idea that the next Subnautica game would be a live service game. Didn't help matters that Unknown Worlds were also looking for people with live service experience, I'll bet a good while ago. It looks like that was actually for their other game, Moonbreakers, which has obviously just come out recently out of early access and doesn't have a lot of the elements they were probably maybe toying or experimenting with. Of course, the other aspect to this is that this says strategic titles for 2024, that Subnautica 2 would be releasing this year, when that's just been corrected by the actual devs themselves and it won't be out to 2025. So something's obviously off here. Either Crafton don't understand what live service or games as a service really means, or in their eyes it just means updates, whereas a lot of other people means microtransactions, battle passes, etc. Or Unknown Worlds have actually pushed back against what's been going on or what supposedly maybe some plans from them have been. It's a storm in a teacup to be honest, I'm just really glad they've actually come out and clarified it. I've spoken about the possibilities of Subnautica having some of these features for over a year now because that's exactly what Crafton had alluded to in so many of their presentations. What it doesn't say in this post that there won't be any microtransactions. Think our early access update model expanded. No season passes, no battle passes, no subscription. It doesn't say no microtransactions. I'd be down with that though, to be honest, as long as they're not stupidly expensive. If Subnautica does have something like that to help support the game rather than just its base game sales, I think we could all agree it'd be crazy to see some skins for some of the creatures, base decor, or more decorative items added to the game. But again, that hasn't been 100% confirmed either. It just might be a case they just left it out here. So all in all good news, other than the fact that Subnautica won't be releasing this year. Again, just like I told you guys in my last video, it looked like it would be 2025. But there was confusion once more. Because again, their tweets towards the end of last year did make it seem like we would see a release, or maybe early access, with a full game release for consoles as well in 2025. So what do we think about this picture? Obviously, it is quite small. It definitely is an in-game shot. We've definitely got some sort of new shark-like creature. Lots of the similar themes. 
I'm super excited about Subnautica having some sort of multiplayer component. It's something the game devs have actually wanted to do since the first one, but never got round to putting it into this or their sub-sequel Below Zero. And this is the first time that actually Subnautica is going to be called Subnautica 2. A lot of us have assumed it would be Subnautica 3. Below Zero, yes, was an offshoot or side story expanded, but it still is the second game. But no, true sequel to Subnautica will be incoming very soon. A whole new planet, maybe not with as many land-focused places to explore. How are they going to keep it interesting with lots of concurrent updates if they're going to be expanding on it more? It's going to be great to see the differences between playing it single player and co-op. And again, the best thing is, it's there if you want it or not. So a long way to go, but as soon as we get any news, I'm going to keep you updated now. I absolutely love the Subnautica series, and I'm glad they've come out and clarified a whole bunch of stuff. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.